Here at IGN, we love playing Rainbow Six Siege, but we're starting to think maybe we're not as great at it as we think we are. So in our quest to become the most deadly tactical squad alive, we decided to let Siege professional esports commentator Kickstar watch and critique our performance from the very few highs to the many, many lows. Okay, you're basically just, wow, okay, that ash. Oof, oof. All right, so you're gonna be playing on house. That's your first mistake. House not in the pro league right now. It's a terrible map. Right. I think very quickly we'll realize we're not in the pro league. <laughs> Operator selection is interesting. Not the worst, to be honest. You have a hard destructor, two soft destructors on house. That makes a lot of a lot of sense. I don't know what that means. Soft destructor is definitely the favorite one. No scope on Havana. Oh boy. Um. All right. And no grip. Got a silencer on Buck with an ACOG. That's Oh, red dot silencer on sledge. So the uh, we'll just say the attachments questionable. We're not going to get in too much more into that. Blitz is really in the meta. Not sure if that's why you picked him, but you know he'll be helpful as a result. Really hard to deal with in a one versus one blitz. Uh, most most people struggle in that fight, even pros. About the about the work. We're going into attachments again, but that's about the worst Russian optic by most people's standards. It's it's good. No, no, it's good. You can you can make it work. Pulse is heart beating in the middle of the middle of the map, so he's looking. He's using his wall hacks, where there couldn't possibly be an attacker right now. A double kill from Fuse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> turned out all right, didn't it? There you go, mate. Clearly outskilling those those two guys, uh, who um. The main thing that the, the main reason that Legion and Pulse died was because I'm guessing they weren't very familiar with the fuse sound. When you put the fuse charge on a window, it's so distinct. So that's probably that's probably what led to that. Let's into the objective. Good objective-based play there. ADSing is really risky in that situation, but it's okay because uh, Nudo is not paying much attention. Almost needing oneself is obviously not advised, but through the wall! Oh my gosh! Link, what a kill. Yeah, what do you think about that? <laughs> um, well, it worked. So, there you go. But, uh, so overall, uh, a lot of the reason why House is such an easy map to attack uh, is because you have direct access to a lot of rooms. Yeah, it's a house. That's what you want in a house. <laughs> I want Scott direct kitchen, access to rooms. Room. <laughs> 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 he went to the kitchen and it was all pummeled up. <laughs> That's a third oh, in to make some toast. You know, it's really beautiful seeing uh, a bunch of people trying to learn how to play Siege for, I'm guessing, the, what, first or second time? I'm level 35. <laughs> it reminds me of when I first started playing Siege and I only played Russian operators. Most of those are bad. I mean, Glass is in the meta right now, but back when I played them, they were all, like, the worst operators. So... We all have to learn at some point, and uh, yeah. So it looks like it was an ash charge opened up this castle barricade. Everybody's peeking it now. No. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, that is really stupid. <laughs> that was me really peeking around the window. window. <laughs> it's almost like what he wanted. Oh wow! All right. Um, the railing uh, does, I believe, block a little bit of the damage from your bullets, if nothing else. It also, I think, destructible wood railing might just straight block a bullet and then force you to shoot another one. So that smoke could have killed the ash if he had peeked a little bit to the right there. That's a nice try, though. I actually really like the way that uh, Dale is playing right now. Uh, that angle oh, uh, Dale was using is uh, pretty good, and it's hard to deny him that. You have to go in the balcony window but it's, it would be better if Dale were crouched. If he were crouched right in that corner, he wouldn't be exposed to the window at all right now and he would have a good uh, amount of control. I like the way you guys are all anchoring. It's kind of dangerous, but it's working because the other team isn't extremely organized. Uh, you also have good, uh, some good hard cover for the guys who are most exposed in the southeast corner of the room, so that's fantastic. Frost traps, outskilled is, is, uh, is the joke there every time. Now that angle uh, and that hard cover is pretty good, but you have, to, you have to be conscious and aware of every potential angle the attack could use against you. Because one thing that people often forget in Siege is that angles are too, like, everything is two-way. You open a hole as an attacker, and you don't switch off of your skeleton key fast enough to shoot through that angle. 
is a skeleton game? <laughs> <laughs> what game is he talking about? Uh, do you know that point? Oliver stop, just really listen to it. He's actually teaching us something. What? <laughs> it's Buck's shotgun. Oh, okay. I like how you guys are covering almost everything. The only thing that's not covered right now is the bathroom. Uh, other than that, you know, you got Dale looking towards the ma main stairs. Mate, I, we, we, we all have names. <laughs> There's not really much to be talked about here. I mean, you guys are doing defense right, basically. Decent. I thought it was a hard map to defend. Yeah. So. People will be like, oh, you know, they're just camping if they're not familiar with Siege. And I understand that response, but this is what you do in Siege. You just, you wait. And you would say normally it's boring, I guess, for a lot of games, but in Siege, the intensity can really get to you. I like how Cardi is not trying to uh, secure that kill. He is canceling his reload. <laughs> That's not good. So pro he doesn't know all the pro techniques. I like how he, he politely said canceling his reload, not f hitting, <laughs> hitting a unit with his fists. <laughs> but I appreciate that he got the down and didn't try to secure the kill because he doesn't really need to right now. Unless, unless the uh, last enemy tries to go for him, I guess. I mean, either way, you guys have full lockdown, so a good job. <laughs> uh, good job holding out the room. Um, say what you will about the skill of the opponents. You guys saw what needed to be covered, and you covered it. That's the way to do it. I still feel like he thinks they're really bad as opposed to we're good. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still gonna thank him, thank yeah. you. Houses, again, very, very, I don't wanna say hated, but uh, nobody likes playing house. You know, it's funny, it used to be one of the favorite maps at the higher levels of Siege back in the day because uh, it just was so dynamic. And that was, of course, before everyone figured out how Siege worked. And before they added Blackbeard, straight in, who out. totally gutted this map. Jesus! Oh, oh, oh. oh dead. Why don't you just ring the doorbell? So right there, you melee that doorway, uh, just to try and get into the building. Don't melee a doorway before you drone ahead of it. You want to know what's going to be on the other side of the doorway before you have to confront that thing. It's like free wall hacks. You just have to go and use it. Okay. Um, so there, you don't always have to secure a kill from a runout. You shouldn't be so anxious to do so. Don't be anxious, sure. It's called a tactical aerial assault. All right. And especially, you really shouldn't down yourself by dropping. Because um, the smoke didn't need to do anything there to get that kill. So shields repelling is a dangerous idea. <laughs> the shields on your back. What is going? Just a ball maverick. Then find a doorway to go in. Even sometimes vaulting through windows can be dangerous because what happens is you cannot move your shield. Like What's this, boys? You vault through a window. So even if you wow, what a one tap. Uh, I guess it works. The method oh, works. Oh, you're keeping me jumping off the roof. <laughs> there you go. Waiting patiently. It's the wrong operator, but good job. Um, yeah, anyway, when you vault through a window, you can't move your shield to the left or right. Uh, sometimes, not always, it's a little inconsistent. Uh, and it often will result in the defender, who's anyone in defender who's watching it, getting the kill. You spend a lot of time on that window. The, the, the objective is upstairs. So, you know, as an attacking team, you have to counter the camp, right? So these guys on the enemy team are... Drifting in the site, uh, and you need to get to the site to to kill them. Fusing this room won't accomplish anything. Uh, <laughs> it's all about distractions. What's it like to accomplish nothing? <laughs> I don't know. You tell me. You don't want to open up more angles for the defenders unless you're ready to watch them. And when it comes to you know this game, if a defender is sprinting to kids right now, saw that hole from the fuse and he would have complete advantage over you guys, like in Peeker's advantage and just, you know, surprise. Even if you were watching it and waiting for it, it could cost you the round. Um, you don't need to ADS with Blitz almost ever. Uh, you've got uh, that sprint ability. Um, whenever you see a shield, aim at the top always or the sides. Never aim at the center of the shield because they have, like, you can't shoot through the shield. Yeah, back to Blitz. Um, it, uh, you have the sprint ability, you have the flashes. You need to get in their face and use that so that they can't fight back. That's the that's the power of Blitz. So don't don't uh, don't go ADSing. He says ADSing a lot. 
Yeah. <laughs> Still I'm not sure what ADSM means. Yeah, we don't date in down sites. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So in this 1v1 situation, or 1v3 situation, um, good job of picking that fight, but you're also exposing yourself to potential flanks from the main stairs and running through cap can traps, you always got to check those doorways. Although they used to have lasers on them and they used to have little, you know, drills that or drill um, holes that went through the wall so you could see where the cap can was no matter what. It was really easy. Now they're super hard to spot out. So you got to, you see cap can who is dead in this round. You can see him though at the top right there. That means you have to be conscious of the possibility cap can traps. We, we let you down, Daniel. When you moved into workshop, that was a really good strategy. I, I, I like that you were trying to isolate yourself, but it also didn't give you any angles. And because you didn't have the potential to open up into the little balcony above the main lobby, which you can do, uh, it's called metal balcony, metal window balcony on the inside for some people. Uh, there's a lot of different calls for it, but uh, if you had soft destruction or even if you... Uh, is everyone oh, listening yeah. to it? So I understand what he's saying. I don't really know what it means. Get angles is what yeah. worked out. <laughs> I like this shield, but you have to be careful with it as well. If you put that shield on the drop down right next to it, anyone who opens that drop down, which can be done through many different ways, would destroy the shield. Now, it takes an explosive to destroy a shield. It only takes a shotgun to break a drop down. Castle Barricade getting ashed again. Maybe just don't put that Castle Barricade there anymore. In fact, in a lot of situations, it's probably a bad thing. A reason why, I get why you would think it's a good thing because you want to bunker yourself down, but on a castle barricade, you're basically just, wow, okay, that ash. Oof, oof. So, I mean, I would critique that by saying, you know, hit your shots, but that kind of goes without saying, I think. There you go, and hitting the shots. Good job, Dale. But yeah, um, the castle barricade just gives the fuse a lot of opportunities to put charges on the window, and uh, or not even a fuse. A castle can catch you, uh, or rather, a sledge can catch you by surprise. Peeking that window slow like that in a predictable angle like the closet is very dangerous. Remember when I talked about that cap can? If he had crouched and backed up into the south corner near that doorway of the closet, he wouldn't be exposed to the window and he could still hold the stairs. That's a much better spot. You don't really need to hold this window because you already have the Jaeger over here doing it. He's doing it in a very risky way as well. But just one thing I would say is always check what your teammates are doing and commit to doing something else as, unless you think they might need support. Uh, that's another example of not paying attention to the angles that you're exposed to. Definitely need to keep on that. Good shot there. And Cardi doesn't need to be peeking wide right now. Don't peek, Cardi. <laughs> I'm always peeking. He's always at your windows. Pe <laughs> Peaky Cardi. <laughs> oh. Again, I gotta commend you guys for having a good job of anchoring down in the site. Um, although this isn't the only way that you can play in Rainbow. In fact, it's actually way outside of the meta right now for a lot of people. Uh, it's more prevalent to try and that, whoever vaulted through that window got outskilled again. And uh, nice try, definitely, from the castle. I would just, ju I would have there just said maybe don't peek in that situation. <laughs> don't get shot. Probably wise, probably wise. I know I've talked about the all of the attachments being really questionable, but you know, silencers in general are pretty worthless and uh, Putting an ACOG on a silent C8 is just, it's difficult. It's difficult to talk about, it's, it's really bad. One of the highest recoil guns in the game and uh, silencers don't add recoil, but they also don't eliminate it where every other barrel does. I shot there from, uh, from David. David? Da oh. <laughs> <laughs> he oh. said my name like three times already. <laughs> There's only five of us. David. Unbelievable. Just a little tip for those of you who are trying to get better just by playing ranked. Now, generally, it's not the best platform to get better at you know, the game. Disable secure area and hostage in your matchmaking settings because most of the really good players just play bomb. Well done, Dave. So again, you're repelling his <laughs> Very scary, Dale. Very scary, all right? You know, there's a door right underneath you that you could walk through and have the same engagement range if you just went up the stairs a little bit. Meanwhile, uh, you know, like, pushing into the building without droning, again, is what I think we just saw the buck do there. And that's, again, pretty dangerous. You want to always check things before you go in. And that, that's the... <laughs> Boom! Right in his ass. 
That's the beauty of Siege, is that you can check everything before you go in, especially a map like House, which is the smallest map in Siege. Boom! Hammer. <laughs> <laughs> Some saying boom in this game. Securing the area, playing the objective. So, I have to talk about it. I, I'm not gonna critique you guys. The other team never reinforced kid's bedroom on house. Just, just don't do it. <laughs> Especially when peeping Cardi's <laughs> around. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> Overall, uh, is very, very interesting. That's for sure. It reminds me of when, when I first started out. So, a little bit of nostalgia there. Uh, and uh, there's still there's still room to learn, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. no, I think no. There's always <laughs> always room to learn. Yeah. If you like this video, why not check out seven design decisions that made Rainbow Six Siege's attackers and defenders? Go on, take a little break from tactical assault, and maybe learn a little something, just like we did. <laughs>